I have the binge eating blues. Do you? If you do, this is for you. Hi, my favorite people. My name is Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. And if it's your first time here, I love talking about feelings, therapy, dealing with healing, my relationship with food, my body, and binge eating is my well, it used to be my thing and I'm still in recovery from it and not that many people talk about it. I try to talk about it in a way that's not like, how to stop doing it, it's so easy. I go, how to stop doing it in ways where you're actually going to address the core issue and you get to hear someone talk about it in a way that doesn't make you feel like crap about yourself. Today we are going to talk about how to battle the binge eating blues and we're going to do a blue theme, okay? I'm wearing a blue sports bra. I am going to do a blue drink or a blue smoothie bowl. I'm not sure which one. You're going to have to wait and see. And I'm going to take you with me on my day to try to elevate my mood because today started with me being like not wanting to do anything. So let's elevate our blues and talk about binge eating together. Yay. Yay. Oh, good morning. Last night I went to bed and created a nice to-do list for myself and I wake up, it's nice and sunny, and I'm like, I don't wanna do anything, I'm tired. We are going to find ways to circumvent that today. First thing, and this is a biggie, I struggle so much to change my clothes when I wake up and if I stay in my sleeping clothes, I'm gonna feel like, Ugh. So, we're gonna change. There we go. I try to wear brighter color tops. I will wear leggings and black bottoms forever in a lifetime. But if I wear a brighter top, it makes me think, daytime, wake up. I take my vitamins. I love gummy vitamins. They make me happy. They taste so good. Mine are multivitamins from the reserve. They come in pineapple, strawberry, and orange flavor. Can you see those? Oh my God. Mm. It's like candy in the morning. Those three things we've done already, drink water, took my reserve vitamins, changed my clothes. See, now we're on a roll. I need to do some stretching because I'm feeling very, very anxious and I haven't stretched in two days. And I know a lot of us don't have a habit of stretching or moving our bodies. It's very stressful sometimes. It's easy to have anxiety about moving your body when you're not comfortable in your body, when you're in a slump, when you're depressed. And it's so annoying to realize, oh, it actually does make me feel better to move my body. So when I'm having a really tense hectic day I try to say hey if you just move for a couple minutes your mood will change and if it doesn't great go back to your slump but it's wild to realize you're not gonna be in a slump so I'm gonna show you a couple of my favorite stretches and you can do them with me Four. before I leave my room I'm gonna make my bed because I tend to just want to go back in here after doing some one task so let's make the bed real quick takes one second watch Okay, that wasn't one second, but you get what I mean. All right, first thing I do is belly breathing. It helps so much with constipation as well as relaxing. That's why I have one hand on my chest, one hand on my belly. Make sure they're deep breaths. Next stretch is classic. You could do these when you're doing work at your desk on the couch. Just really stretch those muscles. We're always on our phones and computers. So these muscles are tight, at least mine are. Shoulder rolls are classic, and opening up the chest helps so much too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Then I'm basically just doing the inverse of that. Child's pose, up dog. I'm sure you've seen these moves before. All I'm doing is just wanting to lessen the tension in my muscles so that I can feel a little better, breathe better. Welcome to my kitchen. Okay, so my first big tip for if you struggle with binge eating is you gotta eat breakfast. Not eating breakfast, you're gonna binge. If you don't allow yourself to eat consistently throughout the day, you will feel deprived. Your body will feel deprived and you're going to binge later. And I know, I know my attachment to binge eating wasn't just the food, wasn't just eating, it was comfort eating. So I wouldn't want to eat breakfast. I wouldn't want to eat lunch. I wouldn't want to eat snacks. I wouldn't even want to eat dinner. I would want that nighttime binge of every chip, every cookie, every bread, anything I could think of, I would want to. So today we are gonna make a blue smoothie bowl to first validate our binge eating blues. <laughs> I love a good theme and I love putting new 
um, superfoods and yummy greens and all these things in my stuff but I've lately been trying to incorporate blue spirulina into my smoothies and my bowls for yogurt I used to go to Jamba Juice all the time and I would ask them to put blue spirulina in it so I got this from the reserve and it's so amazing the antioxidants in it, it helps with inflammation and it just like it makes me feel good to put things that have nutrients in them in foods that I eat because it makes me realize how worthy I am of that. When I was binge eating all the time, I didn't even feel like I was worth eating food that would make me feel good. My favorite yogurt, I am very lactose intolerant, so almond milk yogurt, I just get this from Target, Walmart, really any grocery store, so good. My kitchen is dark. I need to show you how freaking blue this is. How gorgeous is that? Why is this blue too? This theme was a good choice. I'm also gonna put some vegan protein powder. I wanna make sure that I'm getting my nutrients in. And um, a lot of people think that protein powder is just for dieting. No, it's like a way to actually make sure you're getting protein. My water filter is also blue. So I'm just gonna put some water in here to thin it out. Make sure that the protein powder isn't like gunky and powdery. Ooh, I wish I had blueberry Cheerios, ugh. Second best, a mixture of uh, strawberry and frosted. I had both and I was like, I'm just gonna put them in the same thing. Look at that big chunk. Okay, if you can, go ahead and pause this video and grab a snack or grab your meal or wait until you wanna eat your breakfast or your snack or dinner. You don't really have to wait, but I love being able to eat with you, to eat on camera, to show you, just have someone to help comfort you while you do it. Ah, the blueberries have frozen. This, okay. Mmm, let's get that perfect bite, okay? You gotta get the bloobs, you gotta get the cereals, you gotta get the yogurts. Mm. I know that if you binge eat, it's really hard to let yourself eat and not want to hide away, numb away, feel ashamed about it. We might not even notice how much we feel guilty or nervous like, oh, am I eating too much or am I eating too little or uh, am I going to binge if I start eating or am I not going to be able to binge later if I eat? The point here is this. We have to break that anxiety cycle, that anxious waiting, controlling planning when it comes to eating around our binges, binging it all. So for me, I would binge eat every single night of my life. I actually struggled with anorexia starting when I was 10. I lost a ton of weight and I would literally starve myself. And I was forced to recover. My parents brought me to the doctor and the doctor was like, hey, you gotta make her a steak. So I just started binge eating and I had a lot of emotional struggles, anxiety, depression, and family struggles. You all know how it is. You all know how eating disorders and struggles with your food aren't just about the food. It's like a freaking heartbreak. It's traumatic to stop doing it because it's part of your life. What would happen and why would it be so bad to not quit binge eating and not judge it. The goal is to let go of the judgment because the judgment is actually pushing you further into the need for this coping mechanism. Food is a way to cope, food is a comfort. And so if you're hating on yourself all the time, you're beating up yourself all the time about the binge eating, what are you gonna go do? What are you gonna go do? Binge. Okay, and it took me years to learn that. So here's what we're gonna do. Today and for the rest of this week, we are not going to judge it we're not gonna say, I can't do it, don't do it, don't binge, don't mess up. We are gonna just say, I'm gonna observe what happens. I binge, I depend on food, I need it, it brings me comfort, it also brings me anxiety. So in that moment, at night, you might binge during the day, but I'm gonna give you my example. At night, when it's like 9 or 10 p.m., I haven't eaten that much all day, I start thinking, what am I gonna eat? What should I get? How much can I get away with? It's scary to see what we're doing, but I don't want you to be scared of you. I don't want you to be scared of yourself. I don't want to be scared of myself. No judge, just observe. You don't have to quit binge eating. You don't have to quit comfort eating. You just deserve to sit and notice. I know it's probably annoying to not just have someone go, oh, this is how you stop binge eating? What's the way, how do I do it? 
but that's freeing because you don't need to be forcing yourself to fix something and change. It's no miraculous journey. You're just on the journey and it's okay. I binged for over 10 years and I still really depend on food and really struggle to let myself be grounded and notice my feelings and anxiety and stress when I'm eating. And that's kind of why I eat on camera with you. These are the only moments that I do sit more presently is with you. So thank you for being here. The two yummy and nourishing things that I've already used in this video are from The Reserve. I'm obsessed with these gummy vitamins and they taste so good. And you all saw how much fun I just had with this blue spirulina. I love The Reserve because it's based in the US. Everything is based on helping you feel good from the inside and nourishing you. That's all. And everything is so fresh. They keep really low stocks on everything. And they have vitamins, they have superfood powders, they have so many different different items that you can check out. I was running out of my own vitamins, so I ordered these gummy vitamins. I ordered this blue spirulina from them for the first time because I used to always get it when I would go to smoothie shops, but this is their best seller, and I'm super happy that I tried it. It helps improve digestion. It's packed with antioxidants. It's caffeine-free, soy-free, gluten-free, non-GMO, vegan. I love that their products are very very well sourced. That's really, really important to me. I really like this stuff and they were so kind to give you all a 40% discount on anything you want. The link is just in the description box below of this video. I love the reserve, US based, so much natural, well sourced superfoods, things that are nourishing from the inside, not a focus on trying to change your body, genuinely working with what you got and remembering that you're worthy of that self-care. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you're struggling with binge eating or anything, please leave a comment below. I love to hear your stories and hear from you and talk to you through there. Like, subscribe, and if you want anything from the reserve to nourish your body more, there is a link for 40% off anything you want in the description below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.